I wonder how many stars are out there. I don't know. Maybe about 3.4 trillion. Oh, you just had to kill it with 3.4 trillion? How do you yeah. know it's 3.4 trillion? Science. Oh, okay. You can be like that. Then. You're sleeping on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have never seen someone that mad. Because it got before. all over my stuff. Well, what happened was, all right, he was laying down face first. So I, did, I covered the whole back of his head. And then he goes, ah! Oh! And then he rolls over. And then he rolls back. So he it just like smeared like across his whole face. A lot of bonfires, a lot of camp talk, a lot of, a lot of new friends, a lot of um, marshmallows, s'mores. The fact that it's like really quiet and so lots of really cool stuff to see, like deer and trees. I think that pig was smart and like, I think that was a strategy. I think the pig knew that it would save its life. Spending more time with friends and learning about God. Remember whenever that horse stepped on Necco's foot? Oh yeah, oh, Easter. <laughs> One night they were like, if you want to give your heart to God, go to the altar now. So I went down to the altar and I gave my heart to God. And it felt like, Everything off my shoulders just came off. For me, the biggest thing that I've learned is that God has a plan. Mm. And it's not my plan. Mm. But there's a bigger purpose and a bigger reason, and I've come to find that out. You know, I mean, you can't just talk the talk. You gotta walk the walk. You gotta yeah, walk you the gotta walk. You gotta do both. <laughs> what does you that gotta mean? Do I don't everything. know. But it sounds yes. good. It sounds good. You can't swim. You can't play basketball as good as I usually would. I am pretty excited. I just hope nobody gets hurt, because I feel like someone's gonna get hurt. I mean, come on, you're, you're like 15 people in a wooden box with a ball. <laughs> That's true. That's Somebody, a very good somebody's point. Somebody's going to get hurt. That's a very good point. It's just a matter of who. Like it was really steep, and like we like jerked, and like I almost fell, and like Neka, Candace, and Lizelle like jumped out to like come and like hold me back so I wouldn't fall. It was really nice. We really felt like we were we belonged to an extended family here. It felt like we were received well. It's become more of a personal relationship with church and God. You know, instead of just going to you know go and see everyone, it's going for God. I hope that people can kind of like see all that we've done this weekend because this weekend we've done a lot of things. I hope it's like deep but there's also funny moments because they want Not something to look back on. We all need to look back on this. I wonder if my dad was shaking the trailer and acting like a bear. We actually thought it was a bear. Yeah, he was like, uh, we were by the campfire and he was telling us a bear story. We were like, oh, this is a really cool story. And we were in the, the thing, and like on the trailer, there was these two beds. Like there were like bed and fabric on either side. And we were all like choosing like, hey, I'm not being on the fabric because a bear could just scrape in and get us. <laughs> so like me and Patrick slept on like the couch and the table and Sam was like, you know, I'll be the bigger one. And he slept over there. But I saw him the other side of the night and he was like, he was way far from fabric. So he was trying to be cool. Oh, 
You got yourself a mini grill right here if you save this stuff. You make a hook out of the tab. You know that. Man, this stuff smells good. Ooh, that smells horrible. Don't be shy. Stay good. I'm kind of scared. Take a little bite. Not bad. I would say that, like, well, of course, it's unlike any other camping trip like that you'll go on, but it's just like small and just cozy and full of love and like you can just be yourself and feel comfortable. Like it's easier to go to someone and actually trust them and know that they aren't going to go and say something. I just feel stronger when she's around. She's always been there for me too. Uh, I think getting out in nature because we kind of live in a suburb, I think it's good for them and being able to get together in like a group setting like this definitely helps bring people closer together. Well, since God created the world and everything in it, I mean, everything's connected with him. So, I mean, getting outside and viewing everything in its real natural habitat is definitely getting to know God in his own personal way. Yeah. I did the habanero challenge. I took five habaneros and ate them all at once. Tell me that's not a man. Me and Gunnar were out there fishing. We were bored. We didn't catch anything. There was a one there, and we're like, hey, we'll split this half and half, and we'll eat at the same time, and we did. I actually, hold on. He told me not to tell anybody that, too. <laughs> like right there, he told me. You guys ate a war. And they wouldn't be killed and eaten. Like most of us. I think it taste good, though. I mean, come on, guys. Oh, when we were really younger, Sarah's mom used to make, have the best birthday parties for her, like the best. And Alan would always follow us and try and sneak in. It's midnight and all you stupid people are up. Just say ditto. Ditto! Ha 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 ha, turned it off.